Hello everybody and welcome back to another Oscar prediction video where today I will be taking a look at the category of best adapted screenplay. I'm sorry if I sound like a little bit angry while recording this, it's just that I literally just got finished recording this entire video and then found out that the audio wasn't good and that I have to redo the whole thing. So I'm a little bit frustrated. The thing is I only have a couple of days left before I before the Oscars. So, and after this category, adapted screenplay, all I have to do is best actor, best original score, and best picture. So it's not that many, but it's going to be tough to finish all of these in the right amount of time. So, with that said, like let's not waste any more time because I've already wasted quite a lot. Let's jump right into it and talk about best adapted screenplay. Fifth most likely to win is Living. So this movie uh, produced by Sony Pictures Classics and uh, the fact that this got this nomination really is a testament to them and how good they are about campaigning because we saw with The Father, we saw with Parallel Mothers, Sony Pictures Classics is really really good at campaigning for stuff that they Maybe, I mean, I mean, I don't want to say anything bad about The Father or even The Parallel Mothers, but this movie's like, okay, you're only, ha you're only pushing this because you had to, because The Sun was not the awards contender that it was going to be. It's funny, because back at Sundance, when this movie initially premiered, people were like, oh yeah, Living is good, but the movie that's clearly going to go all the way is Cha-Cha Real Smooth, uh, and that did not work out the way that they wanted. Um, but at any result, uh, this movie is nominated, and it's a solid movie. It's based on uh, the classic Japanese film Ikaru. It's a solid screenplay. I liked it fine. I would not vote for it to win, and I feel like a lot of people would not vote for it to win. Uh, the fact that this got nominated over something like she said or Pinocchio is a little bit frustrating, but what can I say? Uh, and the fact that it's not nominated for picture, I don't think it has any realistic chance of winning in this category. Fourth most likely to win is Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. So it's kind of funny. When this movie had its fall festival premiere, there was a lot of talk that it could go above and beyond what the first movie did. People said it could get in picture, it could get in supporting actress, it could get in for production design. At the end of the day, none of that happened. It just got the exact same thing that the first film got, which is a lone screenplay nominee. And it's a good screenplay. It's a funny script. It's a clever script. Like, it makes sense that this would be nominated. However, it's not up for picture. And if you look at this category, the top three movies that I haven't gotten to yet are all nominated for Best Picture. In the history of Adapted Screenplay, the last movie to win Adapted Screenplay and not be nominated for picture was Sling Blade in 19. 96. And that movie arguably would have gotten nominated for picture if we had been in the year of 10. So for that reason, uh, I, I cannot in good consciousness predict any movie to win this category without a uh, Best Picture nomination. And the fact that this movie missed a BAFTA nomination in this category and uh, it also, what was it, was it, people thought it was going to win WGA. But they didn't go for it. Um, yeah, solid. I think it's a strong movie. I think it's a strong screenplay. I think it's not going to win. Third most likely to win is Top Gun Maverick. Oh boy. Now, I just want to be clear about something. I don't hate this movie. I just feel like it's been overhyped a lot. And uh, the fact that... Okay, I get that there is something to be said about, like action movie writing and simplistic writing that's easy for audiences to grasp, but to be perfectly honest, I think I would rather have Avatar nominated in this category than Top Gun Maverick. Um, with that said, a lot of people really do love this movie, and even though this nomination came as something of, of a surprise, people were talking about this movie for a while as something that could upset and win Best Picture. And I don't think that's happening now, but still, there are a lot of people that really, really love this.
this film and will want to vote for it. And I'm just going to say, in order for this to win Best Picture, it would have to win Best Screenplay. Because there's no way a movie in today's day and age can win picture without also winning one other above the line category. And seeing how it's not nominated for directing and acting, it would have to win writing in order for me to believe that it that it could win picture. Now, I don't think it's winning writing. The only reason I have it in third place is because it's nominated for best picture and the bottom two are not. But yeah, the only way that this is happening is if it really goes all the way in picture, and as of right now, I don't see that happening based on precursor stats. So, I'm putting this squarely in the middle at number three. Good on you for getting the nomination, I guess, but I'm sorry, it's not happening. Second most likely to win is All Quiet on the Western Front. Okay, so... This is close. This movie, again, Best Picture nominee, nine nominations overall, uh, like Top Gun Maverick, not nominated for acting or directing, but pretty impressive haul has come on very, very strong at the last minute, and this, I think, has a better chance of being our Best Picture winner and upsetting than Top Gun Maverick does. And like Top Gun Maverick, I think if it's winning Best Picture, it would have to take screenplay too. But I think it's actually possible that it does take screenplay, because it did win BAFTA. I think it won something pretty big early on, like NBR. People do respond to this movie. Now, when it comes to the screenplay, obviously it's adapting a very famous book, but it's not exactly a very dialogue heavy film. I mean, I'd be hard-pressed to quote anything from it. It's also uh, a, a film that, let's be honest, it's in a foreign language, and I know that sometimes they award foreign language screenplays, like with Parasite or Talk to Her, but it, it is a little bit tricky in, in this category. And so I think it could definitely happen. But I am concerned because it's not a very overtly dialogue-heavy film. And I know that dialogue is not all that matters when you're writing a screenplay, but it's the aspect that Oscar voters tend to pay attention to the most when they're praising a film for its writing. With that said, the film I have number one most likely to win is Women Talking. So, it's kind of funny what happened with this movie. Because when it premiered at the fall film festivals, this was declared a big contender in Best Picture. People thought that it was going to get nominated for Picture, Director, it was going to win for its actors, it was going to like do so well, and it only got two nominations for Best Screenplay and Best Picture. And going into the Oscar nominations, there was a lot of concern about, oh, we don't think Women Talking is getting in Best Picture. So we don't know what's going to happen with Best Screenplay because you kind of need a picture nomination in order to win screenplay. And then when it got the picture nomination, people said, okay, well now we know it's winning screenplay. And I was kind of like, do we though? Because yes, it got nominated for Best Picture, barely. Just two nominations for picture and screenplay. It didn't even get in for score, which I think it really deserved. Uh, and it's hard... If we were in a sliding scale world, I don't think this gets on in a field of eight or nine. I think it just barely got in in that tenth slot. And plus, the dialogue in the film is obviously very showy, um, but some could say to its detriment. I mean, it nobody talks like this. It's very like wordy dialogue that's just flat out saying the themes of the movie. Uh, and, and people have taken issue with that. But it did win Critics' Choice, and it did win WGA, and it did win Scripter, and it's not wise to bet against a movie that has all of that. So I would still declare it the frontrunner in this category. Because the dialogue is more memorable than something like All Quiet, 
and also because adapted screenplay is a considerably weaker category than original this year. Um, so unfortunately, I just don't see it going all the way. I, blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, I'm just talking a while, I'm confused. I do think that this is going to win, but I think All Quiet is a very, very close runner-up because clearly the Academy loves that movie more. Nine nominations as opposed to two. But the writing of Women Talking is very, very showy, and it is the Best Picture nominee, so it wouldn't be breaking any stats. It's close, but I'm gonna go with Women Talking at the end of the day. So, thank you very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time where I will be taking a look at the category of Best Actor. See you then.